we're going to take a look at version 2 of Visual Merchandiser for Magento. This is an extension from ONTAP that provides easy ways of you merchandising your entire Magento site. Um, removes lots of the problems that are associated and time constraints um, of doing this job manually in Magento. So we're going to start by looking at how we'd normally do this in Magento without Visual Merchandiser. Um, so um, what we'd do is we'd go into admin panel, we'd edit a category, and then we would edit the numbers of the positions for the products assigned to a category and click save. And that's fine if you've only got six products like this one in the category, but if you've got hundreds, it's a problem because if I want to make this one number one, for example, I've now really got to change all the numbers for the rest of them. And that makes um, this job really, really tough, um, especially if you've got a big site. So, you know, it's, it's pretty unusable. So if you've got a, a, a big site like this one on this demo store, then uh, Visual Merchandiser really makes this straightforward. So we're going to take a look at this new arrivals category. And uh, we've got a new tab called Visual Merchandiser, which if we click on this, we get some options here. And one of them is the Show Visual Merchandiser button. Now this opens a new window. And this window is a representation of the front end category, but in the admin panel. And we can see the product positions are listed here. Now you see we can drag and drop these products around and the order changes. Uh, it really is as simple as that. If we refresh the front end, um, we'll see that the, uh, the category uh, positions have changed. And we can do this uh, drag and drop with any number of products through the category. Um, we have um, the ability to make multiple changes and then click Save Position. So um, we can store up sometimes tens or hundreds of changes and then save them all in one go. If we've got a big category, we see a loading icon. We have an infinite scroll, which means that you can deal with categories that have got hundreds or thousands of products. And these green arrows let us move the products straight to the top. And once they're there, we can move them around. We can also shift click and multiply select products to drag around. So we can move them around in blocks. And these changes are reflected automatically at the front end. Um, it really is straightforward. So um, the Visual Merchandiser extension also lets us do some other things now. So for example, this watches category he here now is actually a, uh, a smart category. You see it's got no products shown here, but 173 showing at the front end. Now the reason that is is because we've used the smart merchandiser function here to create the category based on attributes automatically. So this basically clones an existing category by its ID number, which is number four, which is the new arrivals. So we can build a smart rule for this watches category. We can say any products which are in the new arrivals and the main product category, which is an attribute, is watches, then include it in this category. Uh, and we can add other uh, attributes if we wanted to to build up a tighter or looser rule. Now um, this is completely dynamic so as we add new products that meet this requirement they'll automatically go into this category. We can also affect the sort logic like move out of stock products to the bottom and you can see some other ones here which are based on a similar rule cloning category 4 with different product types. And these categories just look like normal categories to Magento, but they're smart in that you don't have to build them. The system builds them dynamically for you. Um, and with these um, smart categories, we can start to um, build some, uh, some smarter rules. So what we can do, we can say, OK, let's build one by brand. So we're going to have all the Omega products. And that's now 73 products. If we look at the same category at the front end, we've now just got Amiga products. And if we wanted to uh, change that um, to Gucci, for example, we type in Gucci. And this enables, uh, again, an instant change, looking at the same category at the front end. We've now got Gucci products. Except we've probably got too many products now, we just want watches. So 
what we're going to do, we're going to go back to here. We're going to add an attribute. And this attribute that we created earlier, um, we're going to include watches. So it's Gucci, where the brand is Gucci and the main product is watches. So if we refresh that at the front end, we're going to get just Gucci watches. Now those products are automatically called in. Um, but we've got this visual merchandiser capture option, which captures the current dynamically included products and actually assigns them to this category um, with a position. So if we just refresh that, the positions will change. But now these products are actually assigned to this category. Now we can use the visual merchandiser uh, window to drag and drop the product. So we can very quickly build up categories that are using the smart merchandising rules that don't necessarily um, need to be dynamic all the time, but we can just use the functionality to get the right products into a category. So you can build out categories really, really quickly and either be dynamic or not. Now in the admin panel, we've got some options to just to change how we display things at the front end. So we can display extra product images and also list other attributes, for example, brand and get rid of the color in the visual merchandiser window. Now these are attributes that might help you merchandise the products better. And they're not necessarily attributes that um, will show at the front end, um, normally on a product page or a category page, but we show them on the visual merchandiser so we can see um, maybe their cost, their brand, um, all kinds of attributes that you might have in Magento which will help you merchandise better. So now we've got brand showing and we've also got any other images showing as well. So if you've got five um, product images showing um, or, or assigned to a product, they'll also show. So um, there's lots of options here for the visual merchandiser which um, are really going to save you a lot of time. So what we're going to do now is look at how we can get lots of products into categories. Now we've got this option, the mass uh, product um, assignment tool, which if we've got a list of SKUs, which could be a few like this, or it could be hundreds, we can assign those SKUs automatically to this category. So we can get these free products into the category really, really quickly. Um, likewise, if you've just got a, a list from a spreadsheet we paste in, um, we can very quickly get products into a category. And actually the same tool lets you remove products by, from a category by SKU as well, which is really useful. And it means you don't have to do an import to do this. We can also search for products as well. We have a search option. So we can very quickly get products from the catalog into a, a category as well. Um, so we can do multiple searches and um, the search options are intelligent in that it knows which products are already merchandised somewhere in the category um, and if they are it it, would, it tells you that they're already assigned to the category so we can add some some of these ones but we've got some other ones saying already in category so there's lots of ways we can get products into a category as well so one of the other things that um, we've got to improve performance uh, within the system is a indexing option so the smart merchandiser rules are fully indexed, which means that um, uh, even when you've got um, lots of categories with lots of rules, the performance is not impacted at the front end. And that's really important um, because your rules can be very, very dynamic. Um, we've also got this sort logic here. Now the sort logic is, is quite important because this is actually, uh, we actually have a plugin architecture to the Visual Merchandiser extension. And this plugin architecture allows developers to add their own sort options for smart merchandise categories. Now, normally the categories are ordered by their entity ID order, which means basically that the most recent products appear at the top. Now we've got an option within um, the extension by default of move out of stock to bottom, which is quite useful because it means that if you are displaying out of stock products at your front end, you can make sure they're listed at the end of a category so they, they you know, customers don't necessarily get to see them. But with this plugin architecture, you can add additional options here. And these additional options are, if you like, extensions to our extension. And with 
literally a few lines of code, you can build a new sort logic which you can apply to a category. Um, so you can have different sort of logics across your entire site on a per category basis if you want to, and this could be built on any logic you want. So you could have some internal business rules which mean that you want the uh, the highest margin products at the top, except where there's a particular brand which might trump that and come even right at the top, again, positions one to whatever for that particular brand. So you can build an extension very quickly, and we've got some documentation that helps you do this, which lets you extend Visual Merchandiser so that um, as well as all the great features that are there by default, um, you can make this part of your business and, and make the logic of um, you merchandising your products absolutely unique to your business. So that's a, a just a brief run through of the features of Visual Merchandiser 2. Um, the extension is available uh, from www.ontapgroup.com. Uh, ONTAP are Magento Gold Solution Partners. Um, we have many clients already using Visual Merchandiser over a number of years. Um, the product's mature. Um, it's been tested on uh, all uh, current versions of Magento, um, currently up to version 1.8 of Community Edition and uh, Enterprise Edition 1.13, but it's also back with the compatible uh, by quite some way as well. Uh, so I invite you to contact us and um, we really do believe that Visual Merchandiser will save you hours and hours and hours of time um, if you're merchandising your store with Magento.